Real life science, science and me, the anatomy of basketball. Starting off with chewing the basketball, the triceps are the large muscles located on the backs of your upper arms. Their anatomical function is to extend the elbow. This action would be seen when your arm goes from the bent to straight position during your shot. Next is the forearm muscles. The forearm muscles contain two groupings of muscles in the inner and back sides. These muscles are being activated when you aave the ball up in front of your body and once you follow through with your shot and your hand goes downward, the wrist flexors are being used. Next up is hitting the layup and the muscles that are used when hitting a layup are the quadriceps, calves, hamstrings and the gluteus. The quadriceps are the powerful muscles in the front of your thighs. They determine how high you jump and how fast you run. These muscles contract when you straighten your leg. Anytime that your leg goes from a bent to straight position, the quadriceps contract. The hamstrings are the muscles at the back of your thighs and they work together with your quadriceps. The gluteus makes you jump higher when it's contracted. The calf muscles are located at the back of your leg. They contract in motions that require the extension of the foot, such as when you're jumping off the ground. When hitting an actual layup, your wrist extensors play a vital role by moving your wrist and opening and closing your fingers. The chest muscles also help to move your shoulders and arms forward. Next up is the dribbling phase. When dribbling the ball, the deltoid triceps and biceps help bounce the ball continuously. Also when dribbling the ball, your wrist is responsible for flexion and extension of the wrist. This helps you keep control of the ball and help you feel comfortable when dribbling the ball. When a player is grabbing a rebound, they use their quadriceps, hamstrings and gluteus, calves and their core. When a player is using their core muscles, it helps them stand upright and give them good posture while they jump. Calves, quadriceps, gluteus and the hamstrings help the basketball players jump as high as they can when grabbing the rebound. When performing a bullet pass, you are primarily relying on the muscles of your arms to direct your pass and push the ball forward. Those muscles are the biceps, triceps and the forearm muscles. When these muscles contract, it helps push the ball forward and more faster. When sprinting in basketball, you use your quadriceps, gluteus, and calves more often. Your calves help push more power into your sprint when contracted. The quadriceps only contract when your leg is straight, and the gluteus muscles only contract when you run, jump, and squat. Lastly is the straight vertical jump. When performing a vertical jump, your quadriceps, hamstrings, gluteus, and calves help work together to contract and help you jump as high as you can. That is a brief explanation of the anatomy of basketball. I hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching.